What's going on guys? It's Jared here and just to let you guys know this is my fucking roof. I stayed on this roof for the gameplay that I'm showing you for a little bit. Uh, mainly because this is conquest mode and everybody was on the freaking roof and I decided to, to protect it myself using the good old AK-12 which is what I'm going to talk about in this commentary today. A uh, quick little review about it. Kind of like I did the MX-4 but in a little different... I don't know, pretty much the exact same. Um, I just want to talk about it today because I know that this is the first weapon and I, and for the people who are just coming to the beta that got it this Friday uh, maybe you don't know that this weapon is good at all ranges this weapon can pretty much snipe people this weapon is a beast and um, the the secret to this weapon is mainly to tap fire now now if they're like from like, like 20 to 30 meters you can full mag dump like I did that guy even though I didn't get a kill which I don't know how um, but if if they're about 50 meters uh, or 20 meters not 50 Ooh, but about 20 to 25 meters, you can full mag dump and not really worry about recoil. The recoil on this gun is really not bad at all. Um, but like I said, tap firing is key, and you will run out of ammo. Uh, maybe not as fast as you run out of ammo in the MX-4, but you still run out of ammo pretty fast. And um, the laser sight on this thing, it, it automatically comes with a Cobra sight, a laser sight, and I think it comes with an ergo grip or something like that. And... It's very accurate. It's really deadly from long range. And for the first, like, day and a half of beta, this is the only gun that was used. Um, I really saw nobody using any different kit. It was all um, AK-12. And, I mean, it was a good weapon, so I don't really blame people. I, I just want to know, I, I, I just want to kind of say that I think this would probably be what would, like, the M16A3 of Battlefield 3. I feel like this is the type of gun that would take... Um, take the name of the M16A3 and turn it into the AK-12 in Battlefield 4. I feel like this would be the gun that is almost exactly the same as the M16A3, mainly because you start out with the weapon, It's the recoil is very manageable from long range, short range, and it's it's it can beat pretty much anything. Now, the one thing is, is the MX-4, if it's going against the MX-4, the MX-4 will definitely win 90% uh, of the battle if, if the guy shooting the MX-4 is pretty accurate. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be the next M16A3. I think when the actual full game drops, this is what people are going to be using. And I don't really blame them, and I didn't really blame the people using M16A3. It was just the fact that everybody used it, and I feel like this is going to be the same gun. I feel like everybody's going to flock to this gun because they're used to it in the beta. They know the recoil patterns. I, by, by heart, know the recoil patterns now. Um, if I was out there playing, I, I can't really tell you the recoil, recoil patterns. But if I was playing right now, I could probably own with this gun. I kind of stopped using it. Now I'm using the MX-4 because I think it just it rips open in close quarter situations. And I've been trying domination out. And yeah, so with the MX-4, um, I get more bang for the buck. Um, but then again, if you think about it, the M, the uh, AK-12, you would get more bang for the buck because it takes long range, medium weight range, and short range. And it's it excels at all of those. So, in in kind of conclusion, the AK-12 is a beast. And if you use the M16A3 in Battlefield 3, you know that it's reliable in all situations. And that is what I think the uh, AK-12 is. It's reliable in long range, short range, and medium range. And yeah, that's about it for me today, guys. You're going to see the building collapse and my dumb ass not get off of it and fall and fell and die. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smack that like button down below. It helps out a lot. And see you on the battlefield. Peace.